In this video I'll explain how to convert a character matrix to a numeric matrix using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the example. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the character matrix that we can create with the lines 1 and 2 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing which is called matchar. And we can have a look at this matrix by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our matrix contains three rows and four columns. And all of these values in the matrix are characters. And you can see that by the quotes around the values in our matrix. So if we want to convert this matrix to a numeric data object, then we might use the snumeric function as you can see in line five of the code. And in this line of code, I'm simply applying the snumeric function to our character matrix. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a numeric data object. However, you can also see that at this point, our matrix has been converted to a numeric vector. However, if we want to convert our character matrix to a numeric matrix, then we need to apply the S numeric function in combination with the matrix function and with the end call function, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another matrix is appearing at the top right, which is called matnum. And we can have a look at this matrix by running line nine of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new matrix. And you can also see that this matrix contains numerical values instead of character values. And you can see that because there are no quotes shown anymore in our output matrix. So in this video, I have explained how to convert a character matrix to a numeric matrix using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.